Anthony Marshall might need to do something he's not done in over a year to save his Manchester United career. Between now and the end of the season, Anthony Marshall will seek to do something for Manchester United that he hasn't achieved since September 22, 2021. That date 18 months ago was the last time the 27-year-old completed 90 minutes for his club, playing the full game in a Carabao Cup defeat to West Ham United. He has played 25 times for United across the previous two seasons and has gone beyond 72 minutes in only two of those appearances. In the next week or two, Marshall will return from another injury absence, and the clock will surely be ticking louder than ever on his old Trafford career. This was supposed to be another fresh start under Eric Ten Hag, but a bright beginning has quickly subsided and there are questions about his future yet again. The Frenchman was expected to leave last summer, but a lack of interest after a poor loan at Sevilla, combined with uncertainty over Cristiano Ronaldo's future kept him at the club. He looked sharp in preseason and in between injury issues had a reasonable record in the first half of the season. But the last time Marshall was seen in a United shirt was the 45 minutes he tiptoed through against Manchester City at Old Trafford, and he's been unavailable for 29 games this season with five different absences, including hip, back, Achilles and hamstring problems. Brittle doesn't seem to do it justice at the moment. When he did appear in the gap between the World Cup and his late latest injury setback it was a return to the marshal who had failed to influence games in recent seasons and didn't look cut out for the weight of the no. Nine shirt. Wout Weghorst was signed on loan from Burnley to provide cover after Ronaldo's departure, but the 30-year-old has been forced to start 16 successive games. Ten Hag was asked about being cautious with Marshall before the game with Southampton at the weekend, but hinted that they had tried to handle him delicately all season without much luck. Yeah, but I think all the time we had a good plan and it worked until now not always good, he said. But he is on his way back. He's back in training, but we will be cautious. Yeah. With Alejandro Garnacho now out for at least a few weeks with an ankle ligament injury, Marshall is likely to return to the squad this week. If United progress to the Fuck Cup final and Europa League final, they will have a further 21 games to play and you feel the striker needs to be available for all of them to prove that he can sustain his fitness over a prolonged period. He also needs to show he is capable of finishing games. Another 17 appearances would take Marshall to 300 for the club but he's hit just 85 goals in that time. Only twice in his seven seasons at the club so far has he scored more than 12. This is no longer a bet on potential given the striker should be at his peak. Ten Hag's mind has been made up to a degree. He knows Marshall cannot be the man to lead the line for United every week, which is why a striker is the top target this summer. Harry Kane heads the wish list and his goal-scoring record is several leagues above Marshall's. He might feel he still has a role to play in this squad, but his contract expires at the end of next season, albeit United have the option of an extra year. If Ten Hag has to make sales to fund his transfer demands this summer, Marshall will be near the top of his list, with Men's Sport reporting recently that United were hoping to move the Frenchman on. A strong finish to the season might actually benefit United by increasing his value, but if Marshall wants to prove he can still play a role for Ten Hag, then he has to combine goals with durability between now and the end of May. In other news, Glazer's latest takeover decision as owner make decision that will anger many United supporters. The Glazers have opted to push back their potential sale of Manchester United despite bids being lodged, with Eric Ten Hag aiming to finish the season impressively despite several key players missing. Manchester United are dealing with mounting absentees amid continued talk regarding a potential takeover. The Red Devils have slipped away from the title race in recent weeks and must now focus on consolidating their top four spot. Eric Ten Hag's first season has seen several strides made in the right direction. However, the Dutchman will be without one of his key lieutenants in case Miro over the coming weeks. The Brazilian was sent off in the draw with Southampton and the club have opted not to appeal his dismissal whilst there are also several casualties on the injury list. Off the pitch, the Glazers are also weighing up their options with reports increasingly indicating they could seek a cash injection via a minority shareholder. Here's the latest from Old Trafford, Glazers delay takeover process. The Glazers are in a standoff with the prospective bidders for United after further delaying their deadline to complete a sale of the club. The Americans are seeking either a full takeover or partial investment in the Red Devils. They have become deeply unpopular among supporters, with United last winning the Premier League title a decade ago amid continued protests against their ownership. Two groups have so far gone public with their bids for a full takeover, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. The process is now in its second stage, with presentations and meetings being held between representatives of the bidders and the Rain Group. 
who are overseeing the process on United's behalf. According to NBC Sports, the initial intention was for a sale or for investment to be confirmed by the end of the first quarter of this year. That deadline has now been pushed back. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the